Of the 36 Blitz is nearing completion. Tate's Creek takes its turn tonight in the Blitz. The Commodores say success is close, but what's keeping TC from reaching a state title game? Gotta learn how to finish is what it comes down to. Hit. Come on, drive, 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 come on, come on, come on. Do it again. Finishing. We've been last year against Lafayette. We really should have won that, but we just couldn't finish. Right, hit. Move your hand. Push it, push it. There we go. If we can put it together, I think I think we'll be okay. Drive. Go. Finishing, finishing the run, finishing the play. You know. Going one and zero with the reps, one and zero with the games. You got to learn how to finish. If we learn how to finish, we'll be good. We can't just like go through practice and just just have have do everything and stuff like that. So I feel like really we have a lot of intensity. Let's go! Hurry up! And when it comes to practice, we try to come out here, treat it as a game. If we struggle to finish, we're gonna be in trouble. It'll be another one point loss or a six point loss shootout with Henry Clay or seventeen point loss with Beverly, whatever it is. Those three games, if we learn how to finish. We have, we have different turnouts with those games. If you're not in, you're off to the side. Don't even hang out out here. The Commodores know the past is the past. You can't change what happened in 2015. Yeah, you hung with some really good teams, but it's time to beat some really good teams. And if you're going to do that, you can only mention this one time. It's exactly what Coach Sims did. Look at Lafayette. Lafayette played for a state title last year. Understand, we were in the game with Lafayette. So you, was it talent or wasn't us being able to finish? You got to look at that stuff. Coach Sims wanted to bring back a smash mouth brand of football here at Tate's Creek when he took over the Commodores a few seasons ago. But he's learned and grown as a coach and figured out that isn't the best method for success here at TC. And I was excited. I was like, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to get it. Yeah, it was out. I hadn't grasped it as a coach yet. I was, I was still, I was coming in with the player mindset. As a, as a player, this is how we did it, this is how we're going to do it. And after. So you got to sit back and look at it. My first year here, it was just, I, was, I, was, I was going on adrenaline. You know, it was just, all it was adrenaline. As a, as a player, I didn't, I wouldn't step back as a coach and look at it, do some things different. Now, engage as a coach and not a player. You got to get in and see what you have first before you put yourself out there like that. So, yeah, I got some pie on my face. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm willing to admit it. And while you don't see a full backfield very often for Tate's Creek, the Commodores can still be a smash mouth team. Smash Mouth is an attitude. If we can change the attitude with these kids and get them to understand that you can still be a physical football player and be pretty and finesse, that's what you see on TV. Reporting at Tate's Creek with the Commodores, Alex Rising, ABC 36 Sports.